My name is Tanya Jurgensen, and I used to look like this. I was nearly 400 pounds and 180 kilos. with obesity is obviously that food is the main drug and it was my drug of choice. Um, it's not just about the type of food I ate but it's about how often I ate it, how much I ate, uh, the binge eating and then the starvation but I always went back to food because it was my constant companion, it gave me comfort when I felt really lost in the world, particularly being so isolated and allowed myself to be isolated and became a hermit because of my size. What do you want to be remembered for? Do you want to be remembered as somebody that gave up when life got tough? When your time expires on this earth, what will your friends, family members, associates say behind your back? When you're long and gone from here, what will your last name represent? Do you want to be remembered as a quitter? Somebody that had an opportunity to change the lives and inspire others? Do you want to be known as a person that gave up? What do you want to be remembered for? Do you want to be remembered as a person that arrived at a dead end and turned around and went back the other way? Or do you want to be known as that person that took a chance? That person that sacrificed? That person that looked at that dead end and said it's not a dead end, it's an obstacle for me to get around. What do you want to be remembered for? It doesn't just happen hide away at home in my room um, and that would be the place I would eat there or, or in my car when I used to go and buy the food, eat in the car, get rid of the evidence um, and then the only place I would really go would be to either go and buy the food to eat or go to work and then go back home and that was the life I led for many years. Sometimes I ask myself questions. I say, aren't you tired of your current situation? Aren't you tired of looking like this, feeling like this, longing for things that you deserve to have? Aren't you tired of it? When is it gonna be my turn to excel? When is it gonna be my turn to smile? When is it gonna be my turn to feel free, to feel freedom? When is it gonna be my turn to provide? That's what it's all about. Being at the bottom is not the end of me. Being at the bottom is the beginning of something great. Thomas Edison nearly fell 40,000 times before he created a light bulb. Let me say that again. Thomas Edison nearly failed 40,000 times before he created the first light bulb. Now how many people in here have given up on their dreams after one try? How many people in here have given up on their dreams after two tries? How many people in here thought about a dream but didn't even try it because it appeared to be hard. Didn't even try it because their friend shot it down, said it was impossible. Didn't even try it because everybody that they believed in didn't believe in them. I was at the doctor and I had suffered my second liver function failure at the age of 26 and he basically said to me that unless I was to lose weight via a form of lap band surgery, which would be incredibly extreme, I would pass away in a matter of months. Um, I left the appointment and to be honest, I didn't think enough of myself to want to live and that wasn't a thought process I had at all. But I knew that I didn't want to have the surgery because to me that was a whole other type of prison I would be inside my own body. Uh, so I decided that I didn't want to die. And that was the beginning of the journey, really, for me. People would love to hear that it was, you know, I was, I was really pumped and I wanted to be thinner and I wanted to look different and obviously my health would be better. Uh, unfortunately, because I was still so mentally behind what my body needed me to do, the only thing I had in my arsenal was that I didn't want to die. 
I didn't want to live, but I had no passion for life, no passion for me, no drive to do it for anyone else, let alone myself. So all I could do was harness the negative energy of not wanting to die and turn that into a positive. 40,000 times to make the light bulb and we won't give our dreams and goals one shot. We live in a world filled with Thomas Edison. Lights everywhere because this man looked at something and said that he was going to accomplish it at all costs. What makes you any different? Why not you? I'm sure you've cried many nights for answers. I'm sure you've cried many nights for help. But here's the problem. Help only comes to those that are actively seeking it every single day. Stop wanting things to change for you if you're still doing the same things that have broke you in the past. There were definitely many bumps in the road as you go along a journey of trying to lose 100 kilos. Uh, I think the most prominent was certainly food. Um, over that period of time, I think I tried just about everything to lose the weight. Third and most prominent one was what I like to call the conversations. And I'm not talking about conversations with other people, I'm talking about conversations that would happen in my head. But they were always one way. To all my people out there that are success stories that don't even know it. To all the people out there that are fighting a fight that they can't see. You gotta keep pushing for yours. The reason your story is difficult, the reason why it feels like you're constantly climbing uphill is because God chose you as an instrument for success. God chose you specifically to carry this burden to deliver other people from their problems. That's why you're still in the hunt. That's why you're still fighting. Stop being so quick to give up and understand that you were selected, that you were chosen to be one of the few that carries out a message. Stop running from yours if yours is coming. Yours is right behind the next door. You gotta believe that, whether you see it or not. Faith is of belief. Faith is not the things that you see, but the things that you believe is there. You got to do it. Everything at one point in time was considered impossible until somebody came along and made it possible. Anything can be done. All you gotta do is believe and continue to believe and put in the hard work and determination until it becomes a reality.